Welcome to St. Mary Star of the Sea Parish. We are blessed to have you join us as we celebrate the liturgy for the Ascension of the Lord. Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God in communion with the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on the Gladden us with holy joys, Almighty God, 
and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving for the ascension of Christ your Son in our exaltation and where the head has gone before in glory. The body is called to follow in hope through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during forty days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, to the ends of the earth. When he said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men, dressed in white garments, stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resulting in knowledge of him. 
May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call, what are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones, and what is in the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe, in accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead and seating him at his right hand in, in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and in every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he pulled all things beneath his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will, be, they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Thank you so much for celebrating Mass with us and make uh, the celebration possible at your homes. Today is a great day in the life of our church because we celebrate the solemnity of the ascension of our Lord Jesus into heaven. This event is stated in the Apostles' Creed that Jesus ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. This is a beautiful reality that is stated in our readings as well. Knowing that where Jesus would go, all of us who have faith in him can follow him as well in heaven. The Lord's ascension means that he is preparing a place for us up there and is to open up the gates of heaven for us. By this knowledge, we can have a great motivation to be holy, to know how to conquer sin, and even having no fear in facing death because we have the assurance of our Lord 
about heaven. His ascension is the start of our mission. The mission uh, that Jesus gave to his church. In our first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, St. Luke tells us that Jesus is preparing his disciples, giving them instructions before he leaves. Jesus was getting his church ready to continue his mission, to go out into the whole world and proclaim the kingdom of God. We know very well that the apostles were scared and they must be, have felt ashamed because they had all abandoned Jesus on the night he was betrayed. As God the Father sent his Son, Jesus also is sending each of his disciples, even each one of us is being sent to the world to continue the mission, to help him redeem those people around us. Maybe the people around in your homes, in the places where you work, or in our neighborhood to help our loved ones and those people we met every day to know about their purpose in life so that they may achieve heaven too. Jesus needed to reassure his disciples. He needed to teach them why it all had to happen. We know that he interpreted the scriptures for his disciples so that they could understand why it was necessary for the Christ to suffer and die. We know also that he needs to prove that the Christ was really real and alive. So that is what he was doing for the past 40 days after his resurrection. Then, on the day of the, his ascension, he led them all out at to the Mount of Olives. And this ascension event does not mean his farewell. With his ascension, the earthly mission of Jesus ends. But the mission of his spirit and his church begins. This is the mystery of the church. In our second reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, St. Paul is talking about the ascension of Jesus as the starting point of our mission. Jesus gives everyone his gifts of grace for only one reason, to continue his missionary works to all the ends of the earth, that he wants the world to be reconciled to himself. So Jesus needs to go away, and yet he is sending his new presence so that he will be with us always through the Holy Spirit. Even though we cannot see Jesus physically, but we can feel his presence. This is the beautiful truth. Jesus is alive in our hearts. He is here with us through the graces we receive and the sacraments that Jesus instituted for the church, like baptism and especially in the Holy Eucharist, he is present in every event in our lives. We can turn to him in our prayers and for guidance. He is always here to give us the strength we need to follow him and to do his holy will. And so, my dear friends, within this week, we clearly hear Jesus' last earthly instructions before he goes up to heaven. They are very important. He said, 
you will be my witnesses of these things. So by virtue of our own baptism, we are called to be his witnesses. Witnesses to what? To be the witness of his own being as the Lord of all and of his resurrection. We all have to live like those first apostles by following Jesus' teachings and examples, by living his life of joy and love and peace, by always looking for creative ways to share our faith in the resurrection with others. We all have to live the ascension. He wants to draw all people to heaven, and he wants us to partake this missionary works. So every day is an opportunity for us to be his witnesses. Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten at made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds in the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. When our risen Savior ascended into heaven, angels reminded his disciples that he would return. Until he comes, we continue his work by praying for all peoples and their needs. That the Pope, bishops, and all clergy may be effective witnesses of the Lord risen and ascended. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For leaders of the world, that they realize they must give an account of their work to Jesus when he returns is our judge. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the ascension may increase our awareness of the dignity of every human life created to share life forever in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are ill or in need of hope be inspired by the ascension of our Lord and trust firmly that God offers them eternal happiness and the means to obtain it. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For whom this Mass is offered, for Father Ray, Father Brian, Father John, and for our deacons, June and Jose, and for the intentions we hold deep in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. All those who celebrate birthday in the month of May, especially for uh, Flora Madarang, for Sandy Paraguya, and for uh, Tito Pedrito Paraguya, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of glory, as we commemorate 
this day when your son Jesus was exalted in great triumph. Hear our petitions and send us your spirit of truth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. I measure, your brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of this in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin, conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder, mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts. He ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he our head and founder has gone before. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land where people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, let it do fall, so that they may come for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly in his passion, 
he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, a bread of life and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we have us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we be gone to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of our Lord be always with you. Let's so offer his other sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Alleluia. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant we pray that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you, through Christ our Lord. Before the final blessing, I would like to express thanks to all of you who watched on this video and celebrate Mass with us. And also, express my, I express my gratitude to all the ministers who are serving us at this Mass. Our lector, and psalmist Elaine, our camera person, Elvis, and the music ministry with Frankie. Thank you. Thank you so much. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We in peace glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.